Hey guys, it's Coach, and these are five things that I learned that are very important for 3D printing. Okay, so a few months ago, I purchased a 3D printer, and I've been printing a lot, and I gotta tell you, I love doing it, and I'm really looking forward to new things that I can do with it. But there are five things that I, I think are important that I learned that are instrumental in having a healthy printing relationship with you and your printer. So let's get to them. All right, so the first thing is to get a quality printer. Um, I, I know there's a bunch of printers out there. You can go anywhere from like 200 to to $1,000 or even more. But um, I ended up getting an Ender 3 Pro. Now, I'm not saying it's the greatest printer, but it is uh, got a good track record. It is reliable. A lot of people um, that I know have it and they have really said a lot of good things about it. So if you're going to look into it, I know there's some you see, uh, you might be on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, something pops up. It's like, hey, there's a $99 printer. I'd be a little skeptical about those. Get something from a good brand, something that you can uh, know that you would trust and something that would be reliable for you because you're going to be putting your money into it. So you really should uh, invest your money wisely. All right, so the second thing is make sure your bed is level. Now, when I first got the printer, it came in, I started printing, I had the first print, we did the dog, okay? And it came out really good. And then the second print, it was not sticking to the bed. The, the, the filament wasn't sticking to the bed. So what I found out was you gotta make sure your bed is level. So what I usually do is um, I found a few tutorials and I use a piece of paper and go to the four corners, check the middle, and just make sure your bed is level. So depending on what kind of printer you have, you got to make sure the bed is level because if it's off a little bit, it's going to make your prints come out wrong or the levels will be incorrect or it might not even, your first layer might not even adhere to the print bed. So like I said, make sure your print bed is level. All right, so number three is make sure the print bed is clean. Now, your hand has oils in it. Um, there might be some plastic left over. There might even be some leftover residue from your PLA or whatever you're printing with on that bed. So what I do is I'll use my the, the scraper that came with it and I use a mix of alcohol and water. I think it's a 50-50 mix. I just spray a little bit out on there and it seems to get underneath the print that's on there and then you just take that, you know, scrape it off, wipe it off with a cloth and get it ready to go. But I clean my bed a few times just because I want to make sure that there's nothing like, like I said, oil from the fingers or leftover plastic or filament on the bed to interfere with the next print. All right, number four is do your research. Not only the research on what printer you want, because also that is very important because you're gonna see what you wanna spend and what's good in your price range, but do the research on what to do, how to level your bed, how to clean the bed. What kind of slicing software is it? When they were saying, well, you gotta get a good slicer, I had no idea what that meant. And basically that's the software that you use to tell the printer how to print what you want. I use Cura, it's a free one. Uh, I know there's a bunch out there. Uh, there's lots of tutorials that you can go to, but do your research, really figure out how to use it before you use it. You don't wanna uh, go in uneducated. Un, uh, you wanna go in with a knowledge of some type of knowledge on how to do it because before I even put it together I had it a few days and I didn't even take it out of the box and what I did was I did a lot of research on how to use it I think that was important and that really helped me in the long run all right so number five is don't be afraid um, I was a little bit skeptical at the beginning I didn't know how to do it I didn't even know how to put it together and the instructions I got didn't help so what I did was I went online and I watched the video and I put it together with the guy putting his own printer together um, but there are YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There's a ton of stuff that you can find out on there. Um, you can ask questions. We in our uh, Family Gamer 777 Discord, we have a 3D printed wizards where everybody goes in there. And a lot of people do have the same printer I have. And we talk about what to do. Kickstarters. Oh, um, I'm having trouble with this. I'm having trouble with that. Um, I made a few phone calls. Some people have actually called me asking me for help because I've gotten over the same problem. So don't be afraid of that. Just try to reach out. And what I found is that the uh, 3D printer community is very friendly. 
I uh, joined the Endo group on Facebook. I asked some questions and it's, I'm asking new questions and rookie questions. But the thing is, people are helping with it and they're more than willing to help with you. So don't be afraid to jump into it, even if you have no idea how to do it, because there's a lot of help out there. All right, so if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer or you're uh, a noob like I am, uh, we have a Discord server. It's a lot of great things, a lot of great people um, in there with a lot of good help. So the link is in uh, the description below. Also, if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing and you're worried about it, I wouldn't because if I can do it, anybody can do it. I hope to be doing more 3D printer videos like this, some stuff, uh, some terrain videos, maybe some miniature videos, whatever, just anything that has to do with 3D printing and miniature wargaming. So if you like this video, do me a favor, please give me a like. If you really enjoyed the video, why don't you share it? And if you have a comment, put it below if you're thinking about it or you got it or you have any information, I'm always looking to talk about this kind of stuff. So we also have a Patreon if you like to help us make more videos. We have the Discord server, like we said. And if you aren't already, why don't you subscribe for more great videos. But till next time, I'll see you in the next video.